Orange is the New Black Season 2, Episode 12. Well, I said the season premiere was the best episode of the show so far. This one gives it some real competition. Because it, this is where the big storm that's been foreshadowed for a few episodes finally arrives. And so all the prisoners are put into the cafeteria together. And all the storylines that have been developing are shoved into one room. And it is a lot of fun to watch, and it's completely unpredictable how all these things are going to bounce off each other. Now, um, we have uh, stuff uh, like the Red and V and, uh, rivalry, and uh, again, the uh, V henchmen uh, suddenly uh, starting to realize maybe there's... Uh, not uh, that much to what she says, that she's this small-time person who can only act like a big shot in prison. And uh, just um, going on and on uh, with that same thing. And um, just um, seeing some of these actresses work together who don't normally get to spend time is uh, kind of worth it all on its own. But uh, we also have, on top of that... Uh, like every storyline coming to culmination all together, and it, it's just a lot of fun the whole way through. And it, it also, uh, as a further bonus, uh, twice it goes against uh, something I always hate to see in any kind of story, which is that you have this person who's been this nasty, bad person for uh, like so long a time, and then suddenly they do one good thing, and we're supposed to just forgive it all. And uh, that is denied here, both with Healy, who is revealed to be uh, one of those um, like dipshits who thinks women want to take over the world and kill all the men and sterilize them all or something, or as we call them now, Republicans. And um, also, V um, seems like uh, she's uh, reached this like truce with Red, um, and uh, they have a whole laughing it off scene. And then she beats the crap out of Red the next day. So they are actually respecting the audience's intelligence here that we're not supposed to uh, like like these people anymore just because of this one good thing they did. And um, you don't see that a lot in these kind of stories, and whenever it does turn up, it's always appreciated. And uh, we also have um, some goings-on uh, with Fig, who I don't believe I've mentioned once, because, uh, uh, frankly, she was never that interesting to me. But uh, here we have uh, her husband cheating on her with a man, which I don't believe was foreshadowed at all. But... Um, it still um, fits thematically with um, what's going on with Piper and Larry and uh, that whole thing. So it um, still uh, works for what it is, even if uh, we haven't really been given much reason to care about it. And uh, I'm guessing that this is going to give her a bigger role going forward on the show. So um, whatever that is going to be, um, I'm interested in seeing it. And as next we have the season two finale, which um, I have a hard time seeing topping this one, but um, we'll see what they have in store for us next time.